Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are now on the seventh day within the octave of Christmas and the last day of the year. In this Mass, let us thank the Lord for the year that is about to end. Let us entrust the Lord the year that is about to come. We know in faith that our God is a God of times and seasons. He remains the same. He never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so, let us begin this Eucharist by preparing ourselves to welcome Jesus who comes to us. Let us be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, 
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and fulfillment of all religion, grant we pray that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now many Antichrists have appeared. Thus we know this is the last hour. They went out from us. They were not really of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. Their desertion shows that none of them was of our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you do and because every lie is alien to the truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult before the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Please stand. The Word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted Him, He gave power to become the children of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, 
and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, today we are standing at the threshold. In a few hours, we shall bid goodbye to 2021 and welcome 2022. No wonder our readings today speak of the end as well as of the beginning. In our first reading today, the very first words of St. John were, Children, it is the last hour. And in our gospel, the opening lines were, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Today, indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, is the day of ending as well as of beginning, a day of bidding goodbye, but also a day of saying hello. But I'm sure, my dear brothers and sisters, that this is not the first time that we have stood at this threshold. We have said goodbye to so many years, and we have welcomed so many new years. Maraming beses na tayong dumating sa yugtong ito ng ating buhay ng pagpapaalam sa lilipas na taon at pagsalubong sa bagong taon. And because of this, we might easily conclude that life is just like that. That life is a cycle that life is lived in circles. 
paikot-ikot lang, paulit-ulit lang. Something ends, another one begins. We are born and then we die. The sun rises and then it sets and then it rises again. We experience joy and then we also experience sorrow and then our sorrow is again turned into joy. Parang ang buhay natin ay umiikot lang. It moves in circles. As one movie would say, the circle of life. Paikot-ikot lang, bumabalik lang, ganyan tumatakbo ang ating buhay. But my dear brothers and sisters, should life be really lived in circles? Just in circles. We just go around without really going anywhere. Kasi kung paikot-ikot lang ang buhay, edi wala tayong kahihinatnan. Pabalik lang ng pabalik kung saan tayo nagsimula. Are we doomed to what philosophers would, would call us the fatalistic cycle of eternal return? Parang nabilanggo na tayo dyan sa paikot-ikot na takbo ng buhay. May bagong taon, lilipas ang taon. May magsisimula, may magwawakas, may magsisimulang muli. Sasabihin natin, yan lang talaga ang takbo ng ating buhay. But are we really doomed to this eternal cycle? As Christians, my dear brothers and sisters, as believers of Jesus, instead of a circle, life should be lived as a spiral. As we go around, we do not really return to the old circle, but we move on a different and a higher level. We go around, yes, but we do not return to the old level. We rise to a higher level. We become better because we have learned the lessons of the past. We mature because we bring with us experiences that make us better persons. Hindi pa bilog. Hindi pa ulit-ulit lang. Sa bawat ikot, tataas, aakyat, mas mataas kaysa dating level. We do not just go to the same circle. We rise above because we have grown. We have matured. We have improved. We have become better. That is how life should be lived. Kung ang buhay natin ay paikot-ikot lang at walang kahihinatnan, parang wala din tayong natututunan. At mas malala, paikot-ikot lang at parang naliligaw pa tayo, bumabalik lang tayo sa nakaraan, parang wala tayong pinagkatandaan. Sa bawat pag-inog ng buhay, lalo tayong bumubuti, lalo tayong nagiging makatotohanan, lalo tayong nagiging banal, lalo tayong nagiging malapit sa Panginoon. Pataas ng pataas hanggang tayo'y makarating sa ating pupuntahan, sa ating vision, sa ating goal. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we welcome the new year, let us not just say, it's just another new year. It will just be the same 
as the passing year. Pareho lang naman yan. No? Nagpapalit lang ang kalendaryo at ang number ng taon. It should not be that way. 2022 should be better than 2021. And we who welcome 2022 should also be better persons, better humanity journeying this new year. As the Benedictine theologian Dom Odo Castle said, like a path that goes around and up a mountain, slowly making the ascent to the height. We are to climb the same road to a higher level and go on until we reach the end, Christ Himself. Please stand. As the year ends, let us praise and thank God for the many blessings He showered upon us, and most especially the gift of His Son, Jesus. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to preach the joy of the coming of Jesus, our Savior, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government leaders and officials may look to God's word as the foundation and goal of their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That by our witness of life, we may bring the light of Jesus to those whose lives were darkened by sin and misery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may see in the coming of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our faithful departed may share in the light of the heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear our, prayer. our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Loving God, we thank you for sharing your life with us. May we leave sin behind as we cross another year, fill us with light, hope, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, Graciously grant that through this offering, we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, 
and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.